What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Prepping for Zombie channel where we're definitely prepared for the zombie apocalypse and liberals get their feelings hurt and they have to go to their safe spaces every time they click on one of my videos. We're looking at the car, CT380. Nope, I'm not going to be shooting it today, but I will be shooting it soon. Next year I plan on going through all my guns and doing shooting and just a quick i don't do reviews i just do a little look over in my opinion and we will do that next year and uh, make some cool videos better than just me talking about a gun land here <laughs> and y'all can actually see it in action we'll try to make it interesting but i do appreciate all you subscribers especially hitting over that thousand subscriber mark that's a milestone for me i'll appreciate it it took a long time to get there but i'm glad to be here and appreciate all the support but now few specs real fast on this gun this is the car ct380 yes they do make one called the cw380 and the grip is a little bit shorter this one you get a full grip on it and i'll show you that in just a second you can get it for 300 dollars on bud's gun shop right now uh, if you go on down it's a uh, hold seven six in the mag one in the chamber three inch barrel uh, it says it's 4.4 inches high and it is 11.44 ounces so it's light but it don't feel just like it's featherweight it actually feels pretty feels good I, I like the feel of it it feels like it's balanced very well length is 5.52 inches so that is pretty awesome of course when you load this up these little 380 rounds you can probably add a ounce or more maybe two ounces some people say the 380 ain't capable of doing anything but i haven't found a man yet who would want to be shot by one thousand feet per second coming out of the muzzle this is a five to ten yard gun somebody coming up on you self-defense i'll be putting it in my pocket i used to own a Keltec 380 i used to carry it in my pocket with no holster and the only problem with it being so small is it would turn backwards and frontwards it'd be all over my pocket turning the wrong ways but since i since i got this i try to put it in my pocket and uh, with a longer grip it actually stays in place and stays facing down like i like it is pretty thin i like the thinness of it so if you do put it inside the waistband holster you're not going to notice it's there or outside the waistband holster it'll just disappear really good looking gun i like the machining on it look how uh, clean looking that is car does make some really nice guns i haven't found any sharp edges except for here's a little sharp point and right there but everything else is really smooth and looks really good i like their machining uh magazine stainless on the bottom i like how it just drops out of course this is unloaded i just got it i've checked it i can't check it one-handed uh, the uh pulling it back to uh charge the the gun and put one in the chamber it is a little stiff but uh you can expect that from a smaller gun i mean a lady should be able to get it back with no problem uh pretty aggressive right here and right here to get you a good grip i'm right-handed so i'm trying to do this left-handed you can get all three fingers on there even if you have really big hands my hands are medium to large size and it, feel, it don't feel like a little bitty 380. It actually feels like I'm carrying a 9mm, but you can tell it's a small gun. I love the sights, three-dot sights. That'll focus in there. I don't know if it will or not. Let me get close. I don't think it's going to, guys. But uh, looking down the pipe, let me get right here. You would think a camera that costs more than the gun would do a little bit better than that but you can't expect much from technology but you can expect a lot from guns but there you go you see the three dot sight or not three dot sight the two dot sight i like it easy to line up nice sights for a 380 a lot of 380s don't have much of a sight they just have like a little ramp right here and a little uh, post up front but this one you actually got a dot on it, it looks really really good uh trigger on it is not bad uh, i'm not going to pull it right now but uh it's not that bad double action long trigger long reset but it's nice so there's a quick overview of this gun i can't give you a review on it i can just tell you that i've had had good experience with car i had a car cw40 never had a jam on me shoots good so we'll go out and buy some uh 380 full metal jackets at walmart make a video next year please subscribe if you want to and uh, i appreciate it next year i plan on doing shooting reviews not reviews but shooting and brief overviews of the guns and maybe doing some uh, ammunition tests just some old redneck stuff nothing's too scientifical but little 380 hornady let's go out and we'll shoot it soon and uh, tell me what you think i think there's a lot of folks that like car car makes a good gun and it's american made and it's just another good addition to my safe all right guys i'll holler at y'all later and uh, god bless you and don't forget Proudly made in the USA, baby. 
Oh yeah, real fast, if you want to see what's inside the box, they just send the old box. Nothing special, that's how they keep the price down. You got your foam padding, they send some a little lock, and they send... Uh, that's packaged nicely. Just kind of tells about the gun, how to take it down, and all that good stuff. Alright guys, God bless you, uh, and I'll holler at y'all later. See ya.